Hello, everybody. This is Beetle G. Welcome back to Nowhere Profit, the beta for Nowhere Profit. It's going great, except for the food. Uh, let's continue on. We got a big battle coming up. And we're about to run out of food. The road was heading past the ruins of a larger settlement. The house is already decayed to a point where they are were barely visible under the undergrowth, overgrowth. On the former town's outskirts, we were greeted by a grim band of armed locals. They claimed that they had cleared the road for our convenience and demanded a tribute. Uh, so we can't really afford to take a detour with our amount of food. And we can't afford 15 batteries. Let's threaten them. This type of robbery had to be stopped right here, right now. We raised our weapons and aimed them at the locals, demanding free passage. They were intimidated by our advanced weaponry and reluctantly cleared the way for our caravan. Wow. I am impressed. Ah, so some of our people just start getting hurt. Yeah. All right, let's get into this fight. So we need to remove our injured people so we don't lose them. It's looking like a pretty, pretty sparse deck. Hopefully we don't get too punished for that. We're at 25 HP. I think I might remove a reinforce. Reinforce just isn't that great. Yeah. That means we we draw our better cards more often. It's it's usually pretty good to have a smaller deck. Okay. So we start with 3. Let's get rid of those two. We don't really want to play him on three, or like on turn one. We want him when we have people who are injured. Yeah, this looks good. Oh yeah, here we go. Three mana, four, three. Put her on the front line so she can attack next turn. Oh, I have a bad feeling. Oh, all right, that's it. That's pretty good. So attack. I think I'm going to do this guy and this guy. Oh no. Destroy all followers with less than two attack. Oh. Okay. I want to use something. I think I'm going to use quick shot. Uh, just so we can draw next turn. I guess we didn't necessarily need to do that. We'll play this guy. Alright. This is not going great. Alright. Three damage. Okay. Three damage to the 3-3 three three that's hidden. Yeah. One of these guys. The 4-3, probably. It doesn't make sense to attack the other guy. Alright. They can't attack our face. They can only attack the guys with taunt. It's, uh... It's going okay. Alright. Alright. So. We can static charge to get rid of the 3-1, and then... Destroy target follower on the 6-5. I think that's our best bet. Coordinated fire is almost good. Alright. We have to worry about our our followers now because we're running we're running really low on them. Deal two damage. The first target in the opposing row. Uh oh. No! Alright. So we can get plus three damage on this guy. So he can be five. Oh. They have taunt on their team. Um. Okay. Alright. Let's figure this out. Coordinated fire still just kills the 2 1. So I don't think that's necessary at the moment. Alright. 
We'll attack him. Play the big guy and maybe uh, put the big guy here. And get this guy out of range of the 4-3. There came a point when our adversaries realized they had no chance to win. They stopped their attacks and asked for mercy from behind cover. We're going to accept the surrender just because we can't afford to lose any more people. So even if they just kill one of our people this turn. The enemies threw away their weapons and went down to their knees. Let them leave. Execute them. Let them leave. We got a tiny bit of food. Okay. We're about to run out again. Oh, no. The night guard called upon us. We heard the loud moaning and screaming of one of our women. She was in the midst of labor, surrounded by her family. After a few hours, the deed was done and our community had grown by one member. You are looking, lacking an important travel resource. Both food and hope are used to travel from place to place. You can still move, but your followers will begin to starve and desert you. Once you've lost all followers, the game is over. It's important that you keep stock of food and your level of hope in mind. Food you buy or find is automatically added to your stores, but to increase hope, you need to share luxury items with your followers. We came apart a large wreck of a modified transporter that was sitting right next to the road. Who would leave a treasure like this behind? We're moving on. We can't afford it. We're going to lose most of our followers here. Yeah, and now we have to heal them all up. Oh my god, but you have to heal with food. So if you're lo Oh, man. All right, we got to pit nine. Uh, so, yeah. To heal, you spend five food to heal them. We don't have the food for that. We don't have the batteries for this. Let's let's go to the market. Maybe we can sell some stuff. Um, we can't afford any of the food. We don't have anything. All right. Well, well, we'll explore these areas, but I'm pretty sure this run is over now because uh, we're just kind of stuck. Okay. So the crane. All right, we want to enter the crane. The officer asked us to arrest their leaders and eliminate them. We cannot do that. We will die. The gallows were a large entertainment district with the public execution area in its center. Let's hire help. I don't think we have the resources for it, though. Let's hang around. I made the acquaintance of a few citizens. They were proud of the Union's new laws. Uh, and egalitarian society, though the dead people getting hanged nearby also showed the other face of the Union's understanding of order and justice. All right, we can go back and hire help. Yeah, we can't afford that. Um, despite the chaotic appearance, life seemed to have some sort of order here. So let's try to trade. Yeah, we can't afford that. Okay. We're going to sneak in and probably not get hit by the worms all right we found some batteries oh my gosh okay that was super super clutch let's we have 47 we can buy some food or we can recruit I think we have to buy food I wish I wish we had three more batteries so we could do both but I think this is right okay so we might as well by the most we can, 36. Okay. And then heal some followers. And heal some followers. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep, yep. I think we're done here. Okay, so now we get an option. We can go to the mountains for some teaching, which gives us cards for our leader deck, or we can go find more followers. I think followers are important, so I'm gonna go this way. All right travel up here. I do think we need batteries to recruit the followers though. So we'll see if we can even do that. In the night they came and shared some of their notorious moonshine. We couldn't really keep up with their drinking and one of our followers threw up on their sergeant's feet. This was insult enough for them to gauge us with lethal force. All right. Maybe we need to fight more because when you fight you get rewarded with uh 
batteries, food, all the all the resources. All right, I'm gonna get rid of quick shot. I'm gonna get rid of the five. Everything else is good. The two three is kind of weak for. Oh well, I played her there. <laughs> a little bit of a misclick, but I, it, it's not gonna matter much. All right. So we can slash him and attack him with this, or we can attack up here, play the guy with taunt, and then, oh, I'm not going to play the one-two with taunt because it'll just get destroyed. Uh, and this guy has rage, which lets him, if he kills something, he can attack again. So then he could attack both. It's literally just throwing this guy away. Okay. No. Heals for two. I would have attacked the the four three, but that's that's just me. Okay. We have the kill by playing this and attacking. Uh, and attacking. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, there we go. We got some mood. Uh, we got some food and some batteries. Dead bodies of our enemies littered the area. Uh, yes. So I'm going to go down here. We're going to try and hit the campfire as well. And we can avoid the big battle this way. These thin roads do cost more food. But I think it should pay off. Alright, recruiting costs way too much. That's okay. Oh, we can. We have something to sell. It's still. We can't recruit. Recruiting costs 20. So let's just. Do nothing. Yeah, we can't buy anything. Yeah, we're good to go. We're good to go. Unfortunate, but. Alright. Even from afar, we could hear the unsettling yet typical sounds of plasma weapons. Alright, let's attack them. I'm I'm gonna go with what I said before. We'll try and we'll try and attack people. Maybe it'll give us uh it'll give us some better resources. Okay, two. So I think I'm gonna play both of these. Uh, never mind. The reason I'm not is because we don't have many places to get our people. And if I play this, the 2-1 spawns randomly, and we want to be able to attack with it next turn. Okay. That is a lot of stuff. So. 3 damage to target. Um, three damage to target. Attack this or here? Okay, I'm gonna play this guy. We can't. <laughs> oh, I feel like I did this poorly. We'll play this guy behind here. Just get him on the field in case we need him. We're running low on HP. That is that is true. Okay. One, two, three, seven. Okay. So we're putting all this on this. We're shooting him. We're shooting him. Ugh. We got out of that one. We got some batteries. That's that's good. Okay. And then we asked the settlers for help. They gave us more batteries, healed us and some of our people. Ooh, that worked out pretty well. I feel like we're clawing our way back, slowly but surely. Our trek came upon a curious sight directly next to the road and settled into a small crater was the entrance to a possible bunker complex. When the convoy come closer, a voice told us to stop. Uh, let's stop. The heavily armed blue devils came out informing us that there was a toll station. We were to be searched for contraband. Let's wait. Oh, what? We had no real idea what they were searching for. Then a shot was fired. A young man had shoved a leper merc, who retaliated by shooting our man in the chest. Ah, so that's great. 
Okay, let's let's get this started. Ooh. Crippling strike. Okay. Ooh, this is great. So let's put him up here. When drawing a leader card, attack a random enemy for one damage. What? Oh, that's so terrible. <laughs> oh my god. They've got the combos. No. We were going to heal him up. It didn't work out. Oh, thank you. That's really helpful for us. Okay. This great guy is great once we have a board presence. Uh, this is going to be tough. All right, that's good. I messed up, but I think I need to play this still. I should have played this before, obviously, because now we lost one of our guys. That might have been a big mistake. It definitely was. Oh, no. Oh, what is that we just played? 5-4, what? Okay, okay. So, one six. I'm gonna I'm gonna buff him up because of the this thing, the hedgehog drone. So when he takes one, it yeah, he won't die from getting hit. Ah. No! Alright, this is good. Uh, I'm just gonna pass. He's gonna die, but that's fine. I also think we're gonna die. <laughs> Okay, so we can kill this with the quick shot. We can neural shiv the giant guy and then be very low next turn. So let's execute that plan. We don't have any more mana, momentum. He has to be running out soon. 10 more cards and 13 more cards. Pretty sure we're done for. Taunt. That's a thing. So, coordinated fire will do nothing right now. Let's try it. It's because when we play them, they you play them exhausted. I thought so, but we had to try because I think that's our only out. I'm pretty sure we're done. Unless the uh, computer doesn't finish us for whatever reason. Hey, oh. All right. My God, normal mode, very tough, very very tough. All right, I think I think we're gonna do a quick easy run next time on Nowhere Profit, and then get like get our mojo back. Get, get some good tactics going, and then we'll tackle normal mode again. All right, so thank you for tuning in. If you liked what you saw, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Have a good night. Have a good day. See you guys next time.